is on the Frankfurt Nuremberg Autobahn, and uh, we're cruising along. Nice, steady 150 to 160 clicks. This is the Autobahn that I used to drive back in the day. I drove many miles on this thing, hauling guys down to uh, Frankfurt Airport. And this section of the Autobahn has not changed a bit. It's just like it was uh, back in the day. And uh, oh, this trip has brought back so many memories been an absolutely wonderful experience and I just feel fortunate to have uh, uh, made this trip and it's about uh, 8.30 at night still got uh, about 221 kilometers to go got to uh, come up and catch the uh, uh, Autobahn, the A5 Autobahn to uh, Heilbrunn uh, up at uh, Würzburg and I think I'm about uh, oh, uh, about uh, oh, something like 25 or 30 kilometers from Würzburg but uh, like I say this is back in the day uh, just uh, really a good, really nice to be making this drive again, seeing trucks from all over the world, past some from Hungary and from Romania, uh, this is a Deutsche Bundespost truck, so I guess that thing's German, and uh, yep, German license plates, and uh, just uh, really enjoying myself. Klitschik and Schwarbach. And let's see, we're going to come up on a mile sack. Uh-oh. Tell me I'm entering a, a speed zone, but I haven't entered any speed zone, stupid uh, GPS. Try and tell me. But what does it know? Uh, Schwarbach. Let's see, we are twenty seven clicks from Wurzburg. At least this time I'm driving sober. I don't know, I can't remember the last time I drove this Autobahn sober. <laughs> good times, guys, good times. I think I'm getting a little fuzzy here. Sorry, the video is not so clear. And we're beginning to hit a little bit of rain. So. Uh oh. Got somebody coming up behind me, a BMW, and he's just going to have to wait before hitting the traffic. So, I better pay attention to what I'm doing. Bye.